I've had people talk to me and ask me, Pastor, so what if I'm sick? Shouldn't I acknowledge that I'm sick? If I walk by faith, shouldn't I also be able to say the truth and say I'm sick? If I'm broke, shouldn't I acknowledge that I'm broke? Because sometimes it seems to people that walking by faith means you must deny reality. We have to learn to acknowledge facts, but live by the truth of God. And there is a verse in Joel chapter 3, verse 10, that says, Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. I want you to know to the last part of it, let the weak say, I am strong. Note how the phrase is structured. Let the weak say, I am strong. The verse takes note of the fact that there are people who are weak. That's a fact. They are weak. But it says those people must speak a language different from the fact. The weak shouldn't say, I am weak. The weak says, I am strong. So there is an acknowledgement of where you are. Yes, you are broke. Yes, you're sick. Yes, you're weak. But when you start speaking, you declare what you want. So the weak doesn't say, I'm weak. The weak says, I am strong. When God was confronted with darkness in the book of Genesis chapter 1, the Bible says the earth was without form and void. Darkness is upon the face of the deep. And God is about to speak. Of course, if you are surrounded by darkness, the first words out of your mouth should be, oh, how dark everything looks like. But God didn't say, oh, how dark it looks like. He said, let there be light. Did he acknowledge those darkness? Yes. Because the Bible later says that he divided the darkness from the light. He knew there was darkness. He acknowledged it, but he spoke the light. And so, for example... If you are sick, yes, you report to the doctor. But when you are making a declaration, when you are exercising faith, you don't say, oh, how sick this I am, or oh, how bad this sickness is, oh, this thing is going to get worse, I don't think I will recover from this. No, although you are with a doctor, you've acknowledged you're sick, your word should be, I am healed, I am strong, I am able. So when you are surrounded by fear, yes, it's fearful. We read data that is fearful and scary. COVID numbers are rising. People are dying. That is a reality. But when we speak, we speak life. We speak health. We speak safety. We speak protection. Let the weak say, I am strong. That's how faith is. Faith speaks against the contradictory situations. And it turns those situations around to favor the one who speaks it. So when we do that, we are using God's truth to dominate the realities of our lives. We are using God's truth to dominate our environment. And God has called you to dominate your environment with his truth. When we walk by faith, we rule our weaknesses with the strength of God. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Let those who are discouraged say, I am encouraged. Let those who are down say, I am the head and not the tail. I am Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.